I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top five barrel racing mental game tips. Welcome back, my name is Brianna. I'm a professional bear racer and I show you guys on this channel what it's like to bear race professionally, go to rodeos, as well as to help you guys get to that point as well. So that includes tips, tricks, anything I could possibly do to help you guys get there, it's here. I'm gonna be telling you guys my top five bear racing mental game tips. Now, mental game is 90% of the bear racing game. So if I were you, I'd pay attention and let's get going. Before we get going, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. This enables me to bring any kind of content you guys possibly want me to bring. So hit the subscribe button, give me a like and comment down below, hit that bell and let's get going with tip number one. First tip that I have for you guys is focus on you. So when you get to a rodeo, focus on you. I know it's really easy to look around and see people and maybe want to compare yourself to others, but it's super important to focus on what you're there to do and what your goals are and what you want to accomplish. So that being said, when you pull up, focus on you. Don't look at other people's rigs. Don't be worried about who has the bigger rig, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't matter. Focus on you. So when you pull up, focus on you. When you get to the warm-up pen, focus on you. When you're making your run, focus on you. That is the most important thing you can do. If you can stay focused on you and what you're there to do, you're going to have a huge, huge, huge success rate. So that's the first tip that I have for you guys. It's pretty simple, but the more you can focus on yourself, the better that you're gonna do, and the more you're gonna remember what you're there to do and what you're there to accomplish. Okay, tip number two, the second tip that I have for you guys as far as your mental game goes is use visualization to your extent. So now, like I said, all of these tips are not gonna be something that you pull up to the rodeo and you're like, crap, I better do it. These are things that you need to be doing at home before you actually get there. Now, you definitely can practice these without being in the practice pen. You can practice these when you're sitting in school, when you're at work not doing anything, or maybe you're just sitting out here doing chores. So that's the most important thing is use that visualization to your extent. Now, this is not going to work to the extent that you want it to work at a race. That's why I'm saying you need to take extra time to do this right now. So for me personally, I take 15 minutes out of my day, whether that's you know the beginning, middle of the end, whatever. I take 15 minutes and I visualize. Now, what is visualizing? So visualizing is basically you making a mental picture in your brain of what you want your run to look like. Now, a lot of people that I know are saying, you know, get to the race, visualize, you know, a couple more times what you want your run to look like. At that point, it's too late to visualize. So visualize at home. Take 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour to visualize. The more you can do this, the better it's gonna make your run. So what you do is basically you can sit there close your eyes you can hold reins in your hand you're basically just going to visualize exactly what you're going to do in that run to make the most perfect beautiful run ever so now i want to tell you guys a story because i know this works so i've done this a lot and i've been injured quite a bit and so i haven't been able to get on my horses as much as i possibly wanted when i was first injured the thing that i did was i visualized so i remember the first run back i hadn't been on my horse very much someone had been helping me keep it up and i got on and i just knew that i had been visualizing every single day for you know a half an hour and i knew what i wanted to do and my body positioning was just going to fall into place because i had already been Visualize. What I did was I visualized for that whole time about what I exactly wanted my run to look like. I got on that horse at the race and I actually placed my very first race back after my accident. So it really does work. And this is not the only time that it's actually worked for me. It's worked a whole bunch of times. So you can use this to ex your extent if you're not getting on your horse as much as you want to, or you're injured, you're coming back from something, or even this coronavirus time where you don't get to ride maybe as much as you possibly wanted to use visualization to your extent. So basically what happens with visualization is your body and your brain are going to remember the things that you visualized and when you get to a run they're going to just automatically do it because it's already in your repetition, it's already there, your brain already knows how to do it, your body already knows how to do it and it's just going to fall back into place and do it. So if you can visualize that's going to help you a lot, like a lot. Tip number three that I have for you guys is when you get to a race and you're pulling in, show up to win. 
do not show up to just make a beautiful run or to beat this person. Show up to win. Now, winning might mean something different for everyone. Winning might mean, for me, winning the whole race. Winning might mean for somebody else staying on their horse or getting a faster time than they did last time. Winning means something different for everyone. But when you get to a race, show up to win. This is business. We don't get to race just for the fun of it. Usually we're here to race because we want to win. This is important to us and we're here to win. So when you get there, have that mindset of you're here to win. Be focused on that. Focus on you're here to win and then be done. Get home, get your horse taken care of, be done. Tip number four for your barrel racing mental game is figure out what's holding you back. So this seems like something probably no one really ever thinks about, but figure out what's holding you back. There's a lot of times we get to a race and we make a beautiful run, but we're like, wow, I could have done better. That really wasn't the best run I've ever made in my whole life. I could have done better. A lot of times there's something that's holding us back. So I think for a lot of us, sometimes if we get in an accident, we feel like safety is maybe something holding us back. Back. There's so many different things that can be holding us back and we need to pinpoint those and take care of them. So for me, I'll give you guys an example. So when I first started barrel racing, the thing that was holding me back was I was afraid of coming off the first barrel and my horse running back to the gate. So this has happened to me a lot with the horse that I ran and it was super unfortunate because this was something that I was letting hold me back. And I had to work through that. I had to figure out how to trust my horse. I had to figure out how to train him better. Of course, I was just learning. And so after I figured out that that's what was holding me back and I worked through it, I pinpointed it and I fixed it, obviously I've become so much more successful because of that. So figure out what's holding you back. It can be different things in different stages of your rear racing career, but figure that out, pinpoint it, solve it, and that's gonna help a ton. Tip number five, last and final tip, is focus on what you want to happen. Now, this is something that people, I think, really don't think about, is a lot of times, I'll give you guys an example. Basically, your brain believes whatever you tell it. If you tell it, I don't wanna hit this barrel, you're gonna hit the barrel. Your brain does not believe in the whole not, don't, or don't do this kind of a thing. You have to tell your brain what you want to happen. So now if I'm going in and I made a beautiful run, I hit a barrel, the next run I make, if I'm not in the practice bin saying, okay, don't hit this barrel, I've got this, don't hit this barrel, my brain is just gonna go, hmm, okay, I'm gonna hit this barrel. And you know, that isn't exactly how it works, but to an extent, that's an easy way to kind of tell you guys. If you tell your brain something, don't do this, it's gonna do it. So if you tell yourself what you want to happen, your brain will do exactly that. So like we talked about with visualization, your brain doesn't know the difference between you doing it and you doing it in your brain. So you can use that to your extent. So when you go to a barrel race, tell yourself what you want to happen. Tell yourself you wanna make a beautiful run. Tell yourself you are going to make the fastest run you've ever made in your whole life. Tell yourself those positive things that you want to happen. Because if you tell yourself what you want to happen, it's gonna happen. Your brain is gonna believe whatever you tell it. So if you tell it naughty things, negative things, it is definitely gonna do it. But if you tell yourself only positive things, only things you want to happen, that's what's gonna happen. So keep that in mind, keep that to your extent. That's a super, super important key to making any kind of thing you want to happen, happen. If you guys have not checked out the pre-run mental game routine, you're gonna wanna check it out because that's gonna take you from this level to the next. So click the pop tag right up here. That, I promise, is gonna be a video you definitely wanna check out. You don't wanna miss it. So if you guys are not already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next, next video.